We are the last hippie band from Lansing, Michigan. Yeah. And we recognize the importance of being heard rather than being seen in the woods up here. Yeah. Dave Bjornsson here from Pittsburgh to talk about Tom Burke, my favorite Tom Burke story. We were playing uh, in Okemos, Michigan, and during a break, Tom's talking to a nice-looking little old lady over in the corner. Uh, after break, he comes back and says, Hey, man, you know the art I always draw? And I said, Yeah, Tom, what's up with that? Said, I just sold a piece of art for $10,000. I'm like, Tom, come on, why are, you, why are you bullshitting me like this? He's like, I swear to God, that woman just bought this drawing off me for $10,000. So I forgot all about it, and, and as, as it would become to be known, a week later, Tom had a check for $10,000. It was a true story. Well, it's a one for the morning, two for the show. Need to get ready now, go, can't go, but don't you? Step on blue suede shoes. Hey, you can do it if they play all the damn blue suede shoes. Well, you can knock me down, or you can sit on my face. Well, you can slam my leg all over the place. Do anything that you want to do. But I'm fine, honey, lay up them shoes, and don't you? Step on blue suede shoes. Hey, you can do it up there. Play all the damn blue suede shoes. Sing it all together. Scottswoods, my friend Tom Burke, and uh, I got a thousand million memories of him, chocolate milk and cookies and politics and all the things that we did at Scottswoods, but um, fire is a, a, a memory, um, he was the greatest guy in the world, and if he could live at Woodstock, he'd be there. And I really can't think of something. He was just a, such a special person that uh, he liked J Jack Daniels and peppermint stops. Now I couldn't drink that if he paid me, but uh, that's what he liked. And uh, he was a great guy, and I miss him a lot. Scotty McLean, Scotts Woods. My memory of Burkasaurus, Tom Burke. Actually, the, the number one memory is when he, uh, uh, was when he, uh, was in the... <laughs> <laughs> he was working for us in the cruisers, sea cruisers, that is. And, uh, we were all sleepy. It was a very humid night, Michigan humid night. And, uh, I remember waking up in the morning and, uh, it was smelling pretty crusty. <laughs> And old Burke, man, we just kind of come up and what the hell? <laughs> and Burke's the only one left in the truck. <laughs> oh, that's one of the memories at least, but uh, that's, that's a good one. Scott's 
Kenny and Grabo to the stage. Let's have a big hand for Milo Bogna on the lead guitar. Right. Hey! Hey! Kenny! Give Milo a walk! He needed that. His mother keeps him chained up in their basement. Yeah! <laughs> We'd like to welcome Tim Pan Alley next. The Cramdens after that. Seventh Wish, then Sinister Black. A fun-filled evening to be had by all. Right? Am I lying? Is everybody having a good time? Come on, wasn't the mud hole great? We've heard that it's a we've heard it's an evening to be heard and not just as well seen. Is that true? Right. In other words. Shut up. Shut up. You, uh, uh, <laughs> Hamster, show them, their, show them your wound, man. <laughs> I'd like to welcome Wayne Fonts. Wayne Fonts. Wayne, 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 Wayne Fonts. Hey, hey, hey. Wayne Fonts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We love it up here. But then again, we love mosquitoes and poison ivy. Cavities. Bird shit. Bird shit. I want to welcome for Kenny Grable on the guitar here. up at Scott's Woods. These were the t-shirts that they were selling that night. And I couldn't find one and he gave this one to me. And I still have it. It's very old. It's got old. It was back in the day because we're all old now. So hey Tom, we're still here with you dude. God bless. Thank <laughs> you. 